Hello everyone, Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink, and this is my card for this week's Color Throwdown Challenge. So I started off with a piece of smooth, aka hot press, watercolor paper. Although honestly, you could totally just use Bristol Smooth cardstock for this. My original plan was to do a lot more like heavy watercoloring and all that, so smooth watercolor paper or hot press watercolor paper can handle that a little bit better in my experience, but in the end I didn't do that. So when it was done, I was like, I could have just used my Bristol Smooth for this, but anyway. So I traced out the die, the rectangle die I'm planning on using because this piece was, I think, six inches square. And I'm using the second largest die from Simon Says Basic Rectangles die set. And then I pulled out, this is from um, a release, I think it was last year, uh, the Summertime Animals stamp set. So I pulled out the flamingo and the pineapple from that set. And then the pineapple slice is from the new Dancing Fruit set. So I'm stamping these all over this um, traced area with Simon Says Intense Black Ink to kind of create my own pattern. And then there's also this little kind of splash image that's from the Dancing Fruit set. And I decided to stamp that as well. It kind of just filled in any of the like blank areas. And then once I was done, I pulled out my Gonsai Tombi watercolors because I haven't used these in a while and I've been getting questions about them. So I thought I would pull these out. And like I said, my original intent was to do some more heavy watercolor because that's usually what I do when I use these. But I wanted to try something different. So this time I'm just using my water brush, which I don't think I've ever used with these watercolors. I can't recall it anyway. But all I'm doing is um, I made sure my water brush, the bristles were wet, and then I'm just touching it to the watercolor pan and picking up the color that way and then applying it to the image. Really simple, not a whole lot of effort needed. I didn't bother with any um, extra shading or anything like that. I'm literally just filling in the areas with color. So super, super simple. So, and like I said, this is for this week's color throwdown challenge, which is um, pink, yellow, and green. So I chose my like pink color of watercolor and I used that for the flamingos. I used just the one color to do all of them. I just made um, their legs a little more like concentrated. I didn't let it water down very much. And then I'm using yellow to do all of the pineapple, even the full like solid pineapples. I just decided to do in the yellow to keep it simple and watercolored that in the slices and a little splash with the yellow and then I added the green to the tops of the pineapple and I also added a little bit of green to the base of it as well just to give it that little extra something and that was it for the watercoloring like I said it was really simple and easy to do so once I was done with that and this was dry I picked up more of this yellow and I'm just putting it on to one of my acrylic stamping blocks. So I'm just picking it with a water brush and kind of scraping it off onto the block and then adding a little bit of water, but I didn't want it to be too thin down. I wanted it to be very thick because with these Gonsai Tombi, they are fairly thick watercolors. Like they're more of a cross between a watercolor and a gouache. So use that and then flip the water brush against that cardstock. Just get that fun little splatter and then let it dry and then die cut it with that die that I trimmed or traced out earlier. So once I'm done that, I pulled out just this scrap of black cardstock. I always keep scraps of black cardstock on my desk because I use them so often. I don't even bother putting them away. I literally am just sitting on my desk because I'm always stamping sentiments on them. Like they just come in handy. So I had this piece that had enough space on it. So I'm stamping a sentiment from that same summertime animal set. I used my anti-static powder tool first and then I stamped the sentiment with Simon Says Clear Embossing Ink and then I heat embossed that with um, Hero Arts White Embossing Powder and then I'm going to line this up in my paper trimmer so I can trim that down <clears throat> and just move that around, trim that down into a strip and then I decided to angle it onto my paper trimmer and just kind of hold it into place so I can just use the paper trimmer blade to cut that um, edge on an angle. And I just rubbed off the excess um, anti-static powder with my fingers and then just ripped off a couple of little pieces of foam tape here so I can pop that onto this watercolor piece. So I'm going to line up the watercolor piece onto my grid mat. I always line it up so then that way I can kind of use the lines of the grid mat to easily able to eyeball things so that I get them lined up straight. So once I did that, I got out some, this is Simon Says Fog cardstock. And I already had a piece that was cut down to four and a quarter by um, 11 inches. So I scored it at five and a half with my Teflon bone folder. So this will be a top folding A2 size card. And I'm going to pop this little watercolor piece onto that with more foam tape, just for that extra bit of dimension. My original attempt was just to stamp sentiments from the summertime animal set. But then looking at the dancing fruit, I really like that pineapple image and I thought that would kind of work. 
So I inked it up with um, Distress Oxide ink in Fossilized Amber. And then the top of the pineapple, I inked up first with the Twisted Citron Distress Oxide, and then I rocked the bottom area of it with the Lucky Clover Distress Oxide and stamped that so it's got that kind of fun multicolor image. And then to finish off this card, I added some um, Doodlebug Sprinkles in Bubblegum and Limeade. And then pulled out some Studio Katia 4mm Google Eyes because just looking at these flamingos, I'm like, they have to have Google Eyes. That just, that's going to finish this off. So I poured some of those out and I'm just going to use a little dabs of multimedia matte adhesive. I'm going to pick up these little Google Eyes with my Crystal Katana and just press those into place over each one of the eyes on the flamingos. And that's going to finish off this fun little card. So... That's it for my card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, if you are interested in any of the supplies used, um, the color challenge, anything like that, I will have a link to my blog post in the description box below the video. And in the blog post, I'll have info on the color challenge, you know, the links, the pictures, links to the supplies, all that info will be in the description box below the video. So check it out if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.